This is Headlines from Palestine. I'm Chris Smiley with If Americans Knew. The Israeli army has filed a lawsuit against the family in the entire town of a Palestinian man, Abdullah Ghanayim, who was shot in the back and then crushed by an Israeli military jeep. In June of 2014, Israeli forces invaded the Palestinian village Kafr Malik, just east of Ramallah in the West Bank. The Israeli military shot Abdullah in the back and chased him down as he tried to return home. The military jeep then slammed him into a wall that collapsed and caused the jeep to flip over on top of him as well. The soldiers claimed he was throwing stones and an Israeli army spokeswoman said that Abdullah was accidentally crushed after he threw a Molotov cocktail. However, the autopsy report and witness accounts show that he was shot in the back and chased down. Worse yet, Abdullah was left under the jeep for three hours while soldiers prevented medics and rescue teams from attending to Abdullah, who screamed as he bled to death. The Israeli military is now demanding that the family of Abdullah and his entire town pay over 27,000 American dollars for compensation and damages caused to the Israeli military jeep. Well-known Jewish American comedian Jerry Seinfeld was criticized this week for going to an Israeli anti-terror fantasy camp called Caliber 3. There are a number of Israeli companies offering counterterrorism courses and attractions to the public. Simulations include a suicide bombing in Jerusalem, a stabbing attack, a live demonstration with attack dogs, and a sniper tournament. Sharon Gatt, the founder and CEO of Caliber 3, estimates that between 15,000 and 25,000 tourists visit his facility each year. Prices range from anywhere from 100 to 600 American dollars per person. The overwhelming majority of visitors are American Jews. Caliber 3, attended by Seinfeld, is in the illegal Israeli settlement of Gush Etzion in the West Bank of Palestine. Caliber 3 posted this message about Seinfeld's visit. Quote, the legendary Jerry Seinfeld and his family were in Caliber 3. During their visit to Israel last week, they came to us for shooting training with displays of combat, Krav Maga, assault dogs, and lots of Zionism. It was great. End quote. Thank you for watching. Please share this video, and if you're able to make a donation to help support the work of If Americans New, please click on the link in the description below.